I know, I know we're all very excited because Model 3 is coming to Europe after over a year, really a year and a half of being sold in North America, but there is a major difference here. As you can see, the plug in the charging port is a very different. This is CCS, and I already made a video about it because I'm excited that you know Tesla's finally uh, moving to uh, a, a standard that I think is being shared between many other manufacturers. Now, yes, it's pretty ugly. It's probably the worst, the ugliest one of them all, but nevertheless, uh, at the same time, what are they going to do? Because the uh, Teslas have a very different plug in Europe than CCS right now, and also different from what we have here in the United States, uh, five versus seven pin. Um, so what's going to happen with superchargers? Well, we have pictures of them being retrofitted right now. I'll show you what it is and tell you what it means for Tesla and really the charging standards around the world. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4Electric, your number one source of uh, all unbiased electric car news. And yes, I still sound like a 90-year-old man hitting puberty, but uh, there is nothing I can do. I've been struggling with this, as you probably noticed, for about a week now. Um, it is a little better, but uh, what are you going to do? Uh, just, just bear with me. All right, so um, superchargers. Now, as you know, and maybe people don't know, um, superchargers and, and the plug that goes into um, Tesla cars is different in the uh, United States than it is in Europe, right? It, it is the same type, which is a different number of pins. Well, now that the Model 3 is being shipped there, uh, Tesla made a decision to go with CCS um, configuration that, rather than with their own or any other kind. I already expressed my um, love for this uh, because, uh, you know, you know I, I obviously we all want the same a freaking plug for everything, just like we wanted with our cell phones, right? Um, and, um, you know, Tesla was kind of acting like Apple, right? Well, we have our own now. They kind of had the right to because, you know, they were they were one of the first ones um, starting out. But now it looks like they are joining the CCS family. As you know, CCS plugs are just but ugly and bulky. And it's just, you know, right now when I charge my Tesla, it's really sexy. It just slides in and like, oh, it's charging. But now, you know, with the bigger ones, you kind of have to jam it in. There's two really parts to it. And I, I'm not sure if it's going to be as sexy. Definitely doesn't look as slim and sexy. But um, all right. But so there are some pictures uh, that one of the uh, 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 drivers in Europe posted on a, uh, in one of the Facebook groups. Um, uh, Roberto DiGento, and uh, this is what it looks like. They essentially what they did was <laughs> it looks like a, a Tesla supercharger uh, uh, lived in Chernobyl for a while, right? Now it has two plugs growing out of it, and um, yeah, that's their solution. One of them is going to be for, for for the current configuration. So you know, obviously Model S and Model X owners can still charge, and uh, one that is for a different configuration. I mean, obviously, you know, superchargers are really nice and slick looking uh let's see where do i have my supercharger picture um yeah here like they're all pretty cool looking and i think it's crapping its style just a little bit um and uh like, before i show you the actual uh a plug that you'll see uh let me welcome my new sponsor xrac to uh, the family thank you so much for sponsoring this channel and this video this is actually a pretty cool uh, product especially if you have a tesla model x but if you have a car that basically you don't want to put a roof rack on uh, and would rather have a vehicle hitch with all of your cargo this is a perfect solution uh, it's made out of light aluminum so it doesn't really decrease your range uh, much at all and uh, this way you can carry a bunch of stuff with you when you're going on trips now obviously uh, model x cannot have a cargo on, on the roof because of a falcon doors but there are quite a few other cars that kind of people just don't want to put a cargo on top because of the clearance because of other things so this is a perfect solution and they're giving our community uh, one of the biggest discounts that i think they have out there um 15 off plus free shipping. So go ahead in the description of this video, grab that, uh, browse to uh, uh, xrec.us to find out more. But thank you so much for sponsoring this channel and welcome to the family. All right. So here's a picture of um, that bulky uh, connector, the CCS connector, as you can see. Uh, it also looks like it was in Chernobyl and and, and grew kind of a second uh, secondary twin head. Um, but, you know, at this point, I just I just want I just want something that is uh, 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 same standard for everybody. I know it's going to take a while. I know there's still China. I know there's still America, obviously, North America. Um, but it is a, a, a good step. Now, you know, retro, uh, and, and I should also mention that Model S and Model X, they will start making, they're working on it, but they'll start making adapters. So uh, basically, um, this way, I believe uh, something like this could still go into the Model S and Model X as they are right now in Europe. 
Um, and, and don't forget, these adapters are actually pretty complicated because we're talking about some major, major electricity here. And don't forget, V3 version superchargers coming with more energy and power. So, you know, we don't want them to be, mel and nobody really wants them to, you know, melt down when you're using them. So this is extremely important. But for now, this is what it's going to look like. Now, the question is, are they really going to retrofit them all in time for the, uh, for when Model 3 arrives in Europe? I think there's about 400 to 450 of them in, in Europe right now. Uh, probably not. So essentially, the first Model 3 owners in Europe might struggle with charging, especially if they're going to be relying on superchargers and rather than home charging um, to charge their cars, show up, and it's not retrofitted yet, and then they're completely out of luck. Hopefully, they'll catch up with it. I don't know how, how, how expensive or how long it takes to retrofit this. Obviously, they have to produce uh, you know, more parts for it uh, and, and, and ship it all to, to Europe. I, I'm assuming they're making them here in probably Fremont or, or, or Nevada. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a temporary solution. I, I also would like to see only one uh, uh, you know, a plug hanging in superchargers all around the world and just charging stations around the world. By the way, I will be visiting um, Electrify America, the first 350 kilowatt uh, capable uh, Electrify America charger here in, uh, in California, probably over the weekend. I'll definitely bring that report because this is pretty exciting. As you know, the, uh, the uh, supercharger, I think, go up to 120, 130 kilowatts, 350 kilowatts is kind of overkill for now, but there are cars like Porsches, um, with their Taycan, that's uh, that are coming out with a uh, a very very fast charging solution. As a matter of fact, I believe um, they set a record at 400, I believe 400 uh, kilowatt charging uh, uh, this week for their uh, Taycan prototype. Um, now, not saying that's going to be the market. Uh, I believe they're still promising. Uh, I think around 300, but still something absolutely amazing. So this is definitely a moving uh, news story. But let me know what you think about the look of this. I'm not excited about the look, not excited about the bulky CCS charger, but excited about unified, at least moving towards the unified standard. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that, uh, but I'm going to blame it on all the medications I'm on. But uh, I, I want to know what you guys think about it. Definitely put it in the uh, uh, in the disc, uh, in the in the comment section of this video. Other than that, see you next time, and remember to stay charged.